So today I am putting a container together for a very special lady in my life. It's my, it was my grandma's birthday recently and I told her I will put a pot together for by her front door because you know what? She doesn't always know what to put there and I think it's fun to put together. I think it's a fun thing to give someone something that can live on for a year. There's actually use to it. It's not just something that sets somewhere and you don't know what to do with. This is actually a beautiful thing. And I'm doing something slightly different. We'll see if she likes it. I don't know if she will or not, but I'm trying it out anyway. Uh, I'm taking a large container, just a terracotta container that I have. I sometimes just have, you know, extras in my shed and I look for different ones. And I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put a tree in the middle of it. Now, this is a North Pole Arborvitae. Look at how tightly wound up it is. That's a really good thing we're gonna replant it. But what this is gonna do, as you can see, is give it just a really nice backdrop, center focal point that doesn't take a lot of extra care. And what's really great about this is, where I'm putting it at her house, is a very tight enclosed spot that she actually would probably be able to keep this even during the winter. It's always a hit or miss in the winter, you don't know for sure, but it could work. So what I'm gonna start with is just, look what I'm doing, I'm scarifying, or just really, <laughs> you're probably saying, no, that's just scary. I am taking those roots and really just breaking them up because what this is gonna do is stimulate all that root growth to go outwards. I know it looks scary, but honestly, this is what a tree, a shrub, a perennial, an annual, this is what they need because this encourages that root growth not to just be tightly bound up around the plant, but actually grow, which is what you want. Because when they're so bound up, it's hard for them to get the moisture they need. You really want them to acclimate to the new area. So since this is going in a container and it won't be in the ground where it can get the native nutrients or what it needs, I'm gonna put some plant tone in the actual container. So plant tone is what I would fertilize my arborvitae with anyway, because they don't like acidic fertilizer. So I'm just going to add some right in here. So since this is going to be all throughout the growing season in a container like this, the plant tone is really going to help it get what it needs and just give it something extra, which is really going to help so grandma doesn't have to worry about it. So I'm going to put that in there and then we're going to kind of check our root level here, which is dare I say perfect. So what this has now is a good base. And look at that by itself, honestly, in this container, it'd be beautiful. It'd be great. I think grandma would be happy, but no, grandma deserves more than that. She, her and grandpa have been in my life and I'm so lucky that they're still in my life because they're my dad's parents and my dad passed away in 2004. So all these years without my dad, I have still been lucky enough to kind of get you know, a little bit of him through his parents, through my grandparents. And so I just, I don't know, I feel really lucky and really blessed I can do that. So to do something like this for her, even though she'll act like I shouldn't have done it, that's how she is, it's still fun to do. So I wanna add some color around it year round. So I'm gonna kind of treat it like it could almost be fresh cut flowers. So these daffodils, they're already open, but I want her to see kind of, it's kind of for that initial impact right away and kind of just to really have some color right away. So I'm gonna actually, Obviously they're in bulb form, but I'm gonna take them apart. And don't be scared to do this if you ever want to just add some fresh flower color to a container like this. I'm gonna intersperse them kind of around this tree. And then these are gonna die back within a few weeks because they're already blooming. So this is literally like I'm handing her some fresh cut flowers and then they'll be done. And don't worry, we're gonna put other annuals in around these. So I'm spacing them out just like I would like this. And then when they die back, guess what's behind them? The tree, so it will look good year round and that's what's really exciting. So as I'm doing this, I'm just adding in all purpose potting soil and that's just helping me make sure I get up to the level I need for all my soil. All purpose potting soil, that's what's great about it. It's all purpose. So it works for all these different plants. And like I said, I just wanna make sure I space all these. So when I do take it up to her, she can see that there's some color right away but then I will explain to her that don't worry, just because it's daffodils, the color is not gonna leave once they're gone. We're gonna add in some annuals here and the tree behind it. So then I have some calabrocoa. It's the coral sun calabrocoa. What I love about it is it does really well in the summer here in Iowa. So obviously we're a little early. So if it would get way too cold, we'll either have to cover it or it's right by her garage and we can just set it in. But this is gonna grow and expound and come out over the front of the pot. And that to me, I mean, look at that color. What I picked was something that would go well with the terracotta, but then also with anything else like these daffodils and everything else I'm putting in it. So as I'm doing it, you're gonna notice I'm doing the same thing to these annuals that I did with 
my other plants, which is just take off some of that bottom root structure just so it can really start expounding out. Now this goes up into, it's kind of a corner by her front door. So the back side doesn't always get the most attention and you don't see it and it won't get sun back there either. So I don't worry about putting these all the way in the back corner where no one's gonna see it because they'd get lost and they wouldn't grow and they would most likely die. So I'm gonna put them up here where everyone's gonna see them. And I'm doing them in threes because we all know threes just look better. And again, as I'm doing it, I'm gonna take some more all-purpose pine soil and just go around them and make sure I fill them in. Which, see, it's looking really good. And they're just making sure to fill in really well too. And then, so it seems kind of odd to have the daffodils, but when we get cut flowers for in the house, they go so quick. But when you put them out here and they stay cool outside, they actually last quite a while. So I think it's a fun way to kind of have that way to give someone some fresh cut flowers, but have them extend a little bit too and greet anyone that comes which actually this pot will greet me a lot because I go up to lunch there every Monday. I go for lunch. And so I will see this container there all the time. Now I'm gonna put in some pansies. And last year I did pansies by her front door too. And these are the uh, fizzle, sizzle, lemonberry pansies. But what's really fun about them, and you can see it on some of them is, when you look at that color, they have the purple, they have the yellow. So they're really gonna play off that calabrocoa and be a real pop of color. You know, she doesn't, grandma doesn't have a lot of containers and things, so she wants it to have some good color that you see right away. And last year when I did the pansies, they're in a spot where they did well kind of all summer long, which for Iowa is a rarity. If you can find a place where pansies do well, you're lucky. So these most likely will actually really do well all summer long. So I'm gonna plant them all around here. Then we'll finish up and make sure we add more soil. And then we'll get it ready for grandma. That's the best part. So to finish this up, I'm just gonna add some water, of course. I'm not gonna water it too heavily because I do have to take this up a few miles away from my house <laughs> into town, but I'm watering it. And then we will, you know what? I'm gonna give it to grandma and I think she's gonna really like it. You never know for sure with grandma, but I know she'll be happy to have something there. And I know she'll enjoy, you know, something that doesn't have to take a lot of work. And that's what's great about this. This, this arborvitae in the center, once these daffodils, within a couple weeks here, will just be cut back and done. The Arbor Vitae will give a lot of fun interest and just something green, which is nice. But then all this Calabrocoa, all these pansies, they are really just gonna keep growing and really getting large and being kind of more exciting. And they really play. I think that that purple with the yellow with the Calabrocoa is really fun together. And that's the thing, it's just fun container to have by your door and to enjoy. So now I think we should take this up and see if grandma and grandpa are home and see what grandma thinks about it when I set it by her door. If she's not there, we'll just set it there. I think we should knock on the door and see if grandma's home. Hi, grandma. Hi. I wanted to show you the flower pot I made oh, and explain that it's, oh, you don't have. <laughs> Thank you so much. So this year I did a little different. I, the daffodils won't stay for a long time, but then we have an evergreen that will just be there all summer. And it can even probably stay through the fall and winter if you'd want it to and just be an evergreen. But then these annuals will start growing and getting bigger, the pansies and the calabrocoa. So it'll really fill in. And I think it will look good. Yeah, Thank is that okay for you there? Yes. I think it will look good there and it kind of shows up nicely, which it's I like. a good birthday present for my 85th birthday. 85. <laughs> You've seen quite a few things in your years, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you. I'll come in here in a little bit. Thank you. Yep. I think that worked out well. I think grandma liked it and I think it looks good there. So now you'll see it's pretty easy to put a pot together and it can be a pretty good present too.